Hello, you have your unprofessional videographer here again, obviously. Um, today we're going to do a little ammo test. Uh, I kind of want to put some of these these steel case ammos to the test. This one there is the Blazer. It's obviously aluminum, but and that's brass, Seller and Bellot. Um, got some Herders, got some WPA, Wolf Professional Ammo, or Wolf Precision Ammo, whatever it's called. Uh, herders, steel case. These ones here are from... Um, that's a 308 Herders, um, um, AK-47 7.62x39, WPA 223 Herders, 45 caliber ACP Herders, um, 9mm WPA, some Blazer, unfortunately I didn't have any, the steel case for the uh, 380, that's what this is, and then just some more uh, Seller and Bellot, this is a Yugoslavian made stuff, this is old. Uh, and that's 380 caliber 9 millimeter short too. So what we're going to do here is we have a uh, little torture test set up for some of this ammo. Um, this is filled with Coca-Cola. These are filled with water. I'm going to throw one of each of these shells. That's why there's five sitting on top of each box or next to them. Each One of each shell into each one of these. Like I say, this is Coca-Cola. These two are water. This one's going to just sit out here on the table. This one's getting frozen. Um, this here is Hoppy's number nine. See, I got two bottles of Hoppy's there. That's what I had to dump into this. And this is some cheap booze. Um, rum. Like uh, hangover serum is what this shit is. So I don't feel bad dumping it in a uh, jar and using it to soak ammo. I want to let these soak for uh, for like seven days straight. Um, <laughs> today is January 16, 2012, so that means, you know, in seven days I'll rush down and I'll dig all these out. I'm going to put this one in my chest freezer, and the rest of these are just going to sit here. So, I'll take one of each of these, there's one 380 in the Coke, there's one of these Blazers, these are American made, dump right in, there we go, got a little 45, Herder. 223, there she goes, AK, and then a 308, there it is, and there she goes, so that one's done, and we'll just do the same thing with the rest of them, one, 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 oops, one, one, there we go, we got another one full of, I want to see how good these Russian shells are, Except the exception of the Blazer, these are American made, but the rest of these are Russian. Uh, these are made in Yugoslavia, the Seller and Bellots. Then what we'll do is we'll just keep going here. There we are. Get them all in. Whoops. And then a 308. So we'll just put them all side by side. Kind of a a shell cocktail here. I'm probably gonna have to add more to the. Uh, Hoppy's oil here. I didn't realize it was going to take so much, but we'll see. I want to submerge every shell. So we'll see if we can fit the 308 in there without... Oh yeah, she fits. Nope. It's all the way down. So that's good. So we don't need to add any more Hoppy's. And then here's this cheap booze. This is the cheapest shit. There it is. Some rum. A lot of these have, you know, the Burdan primers. Um, some don't, so if they don't, we'll find out once we load them all on the gun. There you go. Oops. And there it is. Got a cocktail, got 25 rounds here. Obviously with the Coke, the two waters. I'm going to cap these all up, take care of them. This one with the um, Hoppy's number 9. And then with the cheap, shitty rum that I had accidentally bought. So, um, cap them up. Within a week, we'll come back, we'll take them out to the range and dump each jar out, and we'll see what we can do about setting them off. So, thanks for watching.